Hello, hello everybody. It's Carol with Refunction Crafts and look what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing, as I promised, some of my sparkly tags that I make. You guys have been asking me to do a video on these and so I decided today was the day because I'm also going to be making one of these in one of my next videos. So I wanted to first show you how I make the tags because I used this one whoops this one in this so we'll make one with a different image um, in the next one and make another beautiful beautiful um, hanging so anyway um, I want to ask you guys please 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 give this video a thumbs up make a comment down below I need your help you guys I'm trying real hard to grow my channel and the best way for me to do that is with your thumbs ups and your comments. Now the last time I asked you to do this in the last video, it helped a huge amount. I got so many more, um, my videos placed in front of so many more people and I grew my channel. It's growing really, really well right now. And I want to keep that momentum going so that I can get up there, you know, join the, the Happy Birds Glitter Nest Club. You know, maybe I can get up there where she's at. Um, probably not, but I'm going to try. Um, so anyway, if you would, please, please, please give this a thumbs up. Make a comment. Let me know uh, when I make this. I'm going to have some pictures at the back end of the video. And when I make my next one, I'd like to know. What would you guys like to see me make the next one with? What image? I've got so many of them here um, that you can pick from. I want to kind of do a poll and we'll see um, what, what wins um, to make this next video. I mean, there's so many choices. Look at these, you guys. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. This one would be beautiful. This one is one of my favorite images. I absolutely love this boot. Um, and this is one of my favorites as well. I need to get some more of these. I only have one more of this image, I think. So, yeah, I need to get some more of those. Um, so anyway, you guys, this is what we've got. Please leave a comment. Let me know what, what image you guys think you'd like to see. You know, for this one, you can just put teapot or vin uh, Victorian boot or glass with flowers or flower vase um, here you could put bird on a rose you know just something simple like that or books with flowers you know small or large um, you know just just something like that um, we've got the the dress form we've got a dragonfly and a butterfly and just colorful flowers you know so something like that that's all that's all I need is just a quick um, comment to let me know what you guys think you might like to see and I will um, take stock in that and decide what I'm gonna do that uh, little hanging piece with and that's where we'll go so anyway we're gonna go ahead we're gonna rock and roll we're going to start this video and i hope you guys enjoy it so let's move on now this is one of my tags that i uh i know i showed you guys this in another video that i did uh, i showed it to you shortly and this is another video that i'm going to do i'm going to use one of these tags to create one of these and i wanted to do this tag video first um, and then do the other video second. So um, we're just going to diamond dust up some tags today and then um, I will create a video on how I made this beautiful, beautiful hanging. Uh, you could use it as a wall hanging. I mean, that's what I would use it for. I would put it in the bedroom and just um, use it as a wall decoration or you could hang it on a Christmas tree as an ornament if you wanted to if you have like bigger ornaments and things that you like to hang um, you could use it as a gift for someone I mean anyone would love to get this you guys come on now <laughs> it's so beautiful and I had so much fun creating this and it's so easy once you have 
the items that you need to create it. And we all have our stash of bling and flowers and things like that around that we can create, you know, so many beautiful things with. This is one of my handmade um, cabbage roses. And I've gotten really into making the handmade flowers lately. I really, really enjoy it. And honest to goodness, I just love the outcome of those um, those flowers. I have bags and bags of them now that I've created, and I still have more that I need to create um, because I came across some of my fabric that I had been looking for that Sherry had sent me, and it was a specific color. It was just some of the... Uh, chiffon fabric, but it was a specific color that she had sent me that I knew I had a small piece left and I could not find it anywhere, you guys. And I was getting really upset and I did finally find it. I've got it right here. This is the color um, that I had been looking for. And this makes the most beautiful flowers, this color in particular. Oh my word, the flowers that I get from this color are just, um, they look so elegant. And so I can't wait to make some more flowers. That's all I have left of that particular color. Don't know what the color is, you guys. Um, it's just some fabric that Sherry had sent me and I just love it. Um, it's my very, very favorite. Um, so, let me go ahead where did my phone go? I'm going to read my um, today's inspirational quote, and I thought it was a pretty good one. So um, it says, let's see, tenderness and kindness are not signs of weakness and despair, but manifestations of strength and resolution. And that is by uh, Cahill Gib Gibran. G-I-B-R-A-N. Um, so anyway, I thought that was very simple, but very, very true. So I do, I do know that people tend to take um, kindness as weakness, and I don't believe that, I, not for a minute. Um, I take kindness as strength in a person who probably goes through a lot in their life, knows how it feels to have people treat them with unkindness and they don't want to reciprocate that so they turn around and use kindness as their tool to let people know they're strong and uh, courageous so um Let's see if we have, uh, everything comes to us that belongs to us if we create the capacity to receive it. And that is by, I'm sorry you guys, I can barely read this because my eyes. Um, Rabindranath Tagore. So yeah, that was a hard one to, to <laughs> say. <laughs> anyway, so I, I know I, I probably butchered that name, but I'm sorry uh, if you happen to see this, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful, simple, and so true. So the things that you're going to need today, you're going to need some uh, paint brushes. Make sure you have some alcohol when you're done with this to wash your paint brushes with. And what I do is I just take them and put them in a small, I have a small round jar that's kind of deep and small around, and I fill it, you know, about that much with re um, resin, with alcohol, and just drop my brushes in there, let them sit for hours, sometimes a couple of days, whatever I feel like, and um, then I take them and rinse them with hot water and Dawn dish soap. So, um, and then they come out nice and clean and ready to use the next time around. Um, I have wasted many a paintbrush, so I do buy cheap paintbrushes from the Dollar Tree. Just the, the little uh, Crafter's Corner paintbrushes. And that way I know if I do forget and leave them sitting. I mean, you can leave a, a brush like this sitting with UV resin on it for a week and you can still clean it and reuse it 
because that resin is not going to cure unless it gets under a UV lamp and then you're done. Then you might as well just throw it away. I have some of my UV resin hard. Um, this is called hard glue and it's UV curable resin solution and I get this on Timu and I will provide a link down below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing this. The price on this is amazing you guys and I usually buy um, 400 grams and so you get four bottles this size and I like that it comes in four separate bottles because that way I can use one bottle at a time the resin stays nice the tip stays nicer and I try to keep these um, in good condition and keep the tips clean um, this one needs a good cleaning now um, and keep the bottle clean so that if I want to um, I can, I, I have poured other resin into these bottles and had it work just fine. Um, usually if I'm going to do that, it would either be this resin or I might put some Let's resin. I might pour that in there and because it's a thicker resin, it, it does just fine. It cures fine. Everything's good with it. Um, so I can reuse these bottles because sometimes the Let's resin bottles are much bigger and a little clunkier. And I just love the size of these bottles. For me, I have little tiny hands and this works great for me. Another thing that I recently purchased is some of this um, Pearl, it's Mother of Pearl powder. I got this on Timu as well. And it's actually quite nice, you guys. It does a really nice job if you want just some pearly sparkle in your stuff. You can use this, and it works really great. Um, so all I'm going to do today, now I'm kind of at the bottom of this bottle of resin, but I'm just going to pour some into this little, this is just one of my little heart molds, but I like using these. And the reason I like using them sometimes is because if I've got a lot of stuff on my craft table, and I bump something, this is not gonna fall over because it's heavier and it's it's tip proof. So that's why I'm using this. Um, so I wanted to show you guys too, uh, just before I get started, I have been making butterflies, bumblebees, and dragonflies. And I just wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I've made recently. These are amazing. Um, this was an earring that I made a long time ago. I added it to it, and what I did was, this is blues and purples, but I added red flowers to it. I wanted to see with adding that that third or fourth color, because there's black in here too, what it would look like. And so I did put some of the, the pinky purple color in the tail here. And this was some beads that were on a necklace that my friend Deanna um, grooms had sent me and I love the pieces that I've got off this I've got a few more pieces of it that I'm saving for of course special things but they make amazing if you want to make something with a really long tail it's gorgeous now, I did not use any diamond dust on this butterfly you can see that it's just shiny and looks like porcelain um, so there's that one and the rest I'll try and show fairly quickly um, this one is amazing. This is enormous butterfly, lots and lots of bling. Now these, um, some, most of them are going into my Etsy shop, but I want to tell you guys, like ones like this, this is going to be an expensive butterfly. And it's because I've used a ton of my bling. It's heavy. Um, so it's really, and it's really, really, really well made. Um, but it's got the hanger so you can hang it in your car or you could hang it on a mirror in the house or on the edge of a picture frame and have it hanging. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I made this one as well and I haven't put a topper on this one yet. I just made this one yesterday. And this one you can see I added this, this trim here that's on the bottom. I put it on both sides of this one. And it's so beautiful, you guys. My friend Kareth sent me this trim and I love it. Oh my word, it is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna show you my happy mail today only because I have got a lot of happy mail that I need to share with you guys. Um. 
I don't think so. I think it's in a box. Um, anyway, I've gotten some beautiful, beautiful Happy Mail. I'll just grab this one. Sorry about the crackle, guys. And, oh my goodness, Carrot sent me a box. It was an all-bling box. Look at this trim, you guys. I've never seen this trim before. I've never had it. Look at how beautiful that is. It's got the rhinestones at the top and the little scalloped pieces with pearls in between each one. Oh my word, is this going to go in some beautiful projects, you guys. I got two of these. So um, I have already used probably just about half of one. Um, just because I couldn't wait to use it. And so I was working on some of these butterflies and things, and I just started going to town using that stuff. I love it. Um, maybe not half. I've used like maybe a fourth of one. And this one I went ahead and I did put it on both sides of the bottom of the wings of this butterfly. But look at that butterfly, you guys. Oh, my word, it's gorgeous. Very heavy, though. Here's one of my bumblebees in red. And Judy, I think it's you that wanted one of these um, for your mother. And I cannot find the message anywhere. And I'm starting to think I'm, I've gone out of my mind um, because I, I can't find it. And I know you requested a red one. And I did make a couple of red ones, actually. This one has blue stones in it. It's kind of hard sometimes to see the color, but yeah, it's got beautiful blue stones. But look at how I used the little the little leaves that I have, the little green leaves that Robin sent me. Oh my gosh, the, the little dark green leaves with the gold uh, flecks in it. Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. And I have gone crazy with those and I am almost out of them. I have a small... I just found, I thought I was completely out of them, and I did find, let's see, where did I put that? I found this that still has some in it, so I'm excited about I got so excited when I saw this, so I still have some left that um, I need to be a little more careful with because I'm going to run out and then I'm going to be really sad. I have lots of little light green leaves and stuff, but these in particular just really make my projects look it they pop and they show up really well and they just make my projects look amazing so here's another one and this one again has that beautiful um scalloped uh trim that Kareth sent me and this is um uh, an earring, and this is one of the ones that I got from Robin, but I also got some of these from Kareth. So, yeah, this one is absolutely gorgeous. You guys, I have so many of these. This is another red one that I did. So you guys are going to see these in my Etsy shop. So I just wanted to let you guys all know that they're going in there. Um, with the exception of a couple of them that have been ordered. But, uh, yeah, most of these will be in my Etsy shop. So here's another one. This one's done in purples. Look at that. And look at that tail. Again, I used that beaded tail. And I did use a double piece on this one. I probably won't do that again on anything else. So this is the only one that will have a double, um, double beaded tail and two chains. Um, I just don't want to use up all of that um, that chain. This one is already sold to my friend Carol Nixon, but this is a dragonfly because she requested a bumblebee and a dragonfly, and so she liked this. And so this is Carol's. So Carol, here's another video of your dragonfly. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I love, love, love this dragonfly so much. I made that yesterday for her. This one is in gold, and it turned out spectacular, you guys. I just used the clear rhinestones, and I only had these two pieces of this bling. And so I used them on the bottom wings, and um, it just turned out fabulous. I love, love, love this one. 
um, and then just some of my little acrylic roses and things and again some of those beautiful green leaves I hope you guys can see those on there I put some down here and some up in here on the wings but they are just gorgeous you guys look at those oh, I love them so much let's see I only have a few more that I'm going to show you you guys um, this is a small so this one is kind of like this one only the smaller version and it also has the um, the red flowers and the tail and it's also so beautiful so this one will be a little bit less than this one in my shop I thought about doing it as like a mother-daughter set you know for somebody that wanted to purchase them for them set one for themselves and one for their daughter I thought that would be a neat set this is another dragonfly that Carol purchased and that's going to Carol again she got two dragonflies and then I had made these two butterflies yesterday that came out absolutely gorgeous and they're just two butterflies these are I don't usually do this these are double-sided on all all edges of the butterflies and that's probably something that I should start doing they are stronger than strong and they really do look beautiful like that I mean you know they look complete that's a little bitty dragonfly that I made and I'm probably gonna send that to Carol as well just as an extra little thing because you guys know I do send little gifts with every purchase when you shop in my Etsy store so I just kind of pick what the gift of the day is going to be. These are some more butterflies that I created. Aren't they beautiful? These two here are super pretty. I'm going to sell those in my shop as a little set. I'm going to I'm going to pull those up closer. And then I have this too. I made some that are just like the monarch butterflies, but look at how beautiful that is. It turned out gorgeous. The colors are just so vibrant on these and this is just a little cottage rose butterfly and then let me put these up closer to you guys so you can actually see what they really look like aren't those beautiful I love these so I'm going to be making some more of this this uh, this butterfly um, because it just is amazing it, it's so beautiful and I want to make some bigger ones so be on the lookout for those and be on the lookout for these to all be getting into my shop with the exception of the ones that are purchased I have a I need to do one more bumblebee for Carol but she wants a small bumblebee <clears throat> these bumblebees that I have here are definitely not small she wants to put it on the outside of a journal and these are just not small bumblebees. They're huge bumblebees. So I'm going to make a small one for her. And then my friend Judy wanted a red bumblebee. I believe it was Judy. Um, so Judy, please get in touch with me and let me know if I'm crazy or not. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Um, and if it's somebody else, please let me know because I cannot find the message anywhere. I don't know what I did with it or whether it just disappeared or what. So here we have our Flora Craft Diamond Dust. This is, um, let me close this real quick. This is the Diamond Dust or glass glitter that I use and I get it on Amazon. I will put a link to this down in the description menu. It's amazing, always looks amazing and you can't go wrong with that. I do have a couple of um, chunks that kind of got in here so I've been trying to get those out of it, you know, but I must have dripped some resin in there at some point because I find myself I just kind of um, I put it on my stuff over the jar and sometimes I'll get a drip or something not usually on these tags but on some of the other stuff so here's a couple of tags that we're gonna do I'm only gonna do one of any specific tag so all I do you guys is I take my paper tag and I take my resin tip my little brush in it and I'm just gonna paint these little 
areas that I want to sparkle just a little a little bit don't need to make it too bad but you do want to get this on here and not let it completely soak through um, before you get your glitter on there because otherwise your glitter is not going to stick if this resin goes all the way through the paper and also it helps to keep it from going to the back side. Now you guys, you're gonna get some that's gonna seep through and go to the back side. If you don't want that to happen, then you wanna take it and you wanna do a little space at a time, like right here. Um, I've done quite a bit on this um, tag already. So I'm going to see, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to put my brush aside here, and we're going to add our glass glitter, and again, I'm just putting it right over my jar, and this kind of helps me not to waste the glitter as well. And it just kind of sticks to that resin. Oh, you know what? I forgot to dust the, the bird. I want some on the bird. I'll put a little bit on the wings and the tail and a little bit right there on the bird's head. And that is going to do it. Tap it down. Make sure there's none sticking off the sides. And now I'm going to pop it in my lamp for just the 30 seconds while I'm working on the next tag. This one's going to be gorgeous, I think. I haven't done this to one of these yet. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be super gorgeous. And I'm just doing the petals of the flower. Now you could take this and you could just do the centers if you wanted. And that's what I do. I just kind of do them all different, you guys. Pick and choose kind of what you want to do and which ones you want to add uh, your resin or your sparkle to. And just go for it. And I'm just doing all of the flowers on this. But I am doing a whole bunch of these for you guys because I want you to see some of the different um, tags and things. Now the tags, you guys, just find any of your tags that you have. Any old tag will do. And, um, and just start, you know, going to town with them. You'll be amazed at what just doing this will do with your tags and how much um, life it brings to them. I mean, it's crazy what a little glass glitter will do for you. And again, I'm just putting it over my, my glitter jar. And I just saw a couple of nice little chunks fall there, but they fell back into the jar. And tap it down. Get the edges. I don't think there's anything on the edges because I didn't uh, I didn't paint the edges. Okay, now here's our bird. Look at that. Can you believe that, you guys? Isn't that gorgeous? So that's one done. Now we've got these two. These are little book pictures that I found. Um, these are not regular tags. These are some that I found on Pinterest. Now, on Pinterest, you can find free printables, uh, but best thing for you to do is to go to Etsy and find someone who is selling um, free, or not free, um, digital images that you can purchase. And that way you can 
sort of pick and choose what sort of images you want or what kind of tags you want and um, you know personal preference and uh, go to town you guys this is so fun and this is you want to talk therapy this makes you feel good when you get this done and you see all these beautiful tags and for me I like to sometimes throw some tags in um, as the free gifts that I give people um, in my Etsy shop when they shop there so I do enjoy um, passing these around and, and sharing them with people because when they get them they just get so excited but look at how easy it is you guys can make your own I don't sell these finished in my shop at all I just use them for my own my own projects and stuff so here's this one all done and look at that isn't that gorgeous you guys oh my goodness I love these so much okay now this one I'm only gonna do uh, I almost put that in the glitter I'm only gonna do flowers so I'm gonna try and be very gentle with my brush There, I got a little bit more than I got a little heavy handed there. Let's see. We've got these flowers down here at the bottom. And you guys can do this also with um, using um, other mediums. You know, I used to use triple thick. I do not use triple thick anymore. Um, I don't like it. It fades all of my pictures. If you've got a laser jet printer that you're using to print your images, you're fine. It's not going to fade them out. However, if it's an inkjet printer that you use to paint to uh, print your images on, they're all going to fade, and that triple thick just completely ruins your images. I mean, within a short period of time, not like right away, you won't even notice it right away. But if you give it to somebody as a gift or you try to sell it, eventually those images are going to fade so badly that you won't even be able to tell what they are and somebody might get kind of mad especially if you sold them um, ones that uh, you used the triple thick on and that they fade I mean nobody wants to buy something and have it faded out there's that one and that pretty 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 so just be mindful of that. This one is super pretty. I love this, this uh, image. And here again, I think I'm mostly just gonna do a few flowers. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do too much on this one. And show you just how it looks if you just go a little way, you know, because a little sparkle can go a long way, you guys. I think I might put a little bit down here, just kind of a little wavy thing, maybe a little bit on this plate and bowl, like around the edge, and sort of on the handle there. And really this one only has flowers mainly at the top of the image so there's not a lot of flowers on this particular one but even just if you just want a tiny bit of sparkle on something um, you'll see that it's still just 
makes a huge, huge, huge impact on the whole thing. And imagine, you know, if you're giving gifts or things like that and you want to add a beautiful tag, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So you just want to add beautiful tags to things. How could you go wrong with that? I mean, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous tag. Okay, and then let's see. These, I have a whole bunch of tags that I got. I don't need that one. That one I have already. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with some of these, though. Here we've got a couple of dragonflies and a butterfly here. So let's just go ahead, and I think we're just going to... We're going to try and do these one, two, three. And we're going to do our... Fly. Okay. So there's that one. All done. And you guys are going to see at the end of this how many tags that I've made in just a short period of time. This maybe maybe half an hour or so. I'm going to have so many beautiful tags that I won't know what to do with them all. <laughs> I'm just putting some just where I think this is like a lacy shoe. It's got all these pretty lacy elements to it. Okay, I feel like my dog is getting into trouble. She's in a feisty mood today. So I actually had to put her outside for a little while to try and calm her down because she gets into trouble and starts tearing things up when she shouldn't. So usually if I put her outside for a little bit, she gets it. Today she's a little feistier than usual, so I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Okay, let me tap these down. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Put that one in there. And now we've got this one. All these beautiful flowers over here. Get those and these flowers. And these are like little lamps that are kind of off the side. I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle in those. And we want a little bit on her dress. Yeah, you can hear my puppy whining. She wants attention, that's all. Okay, that should be good for that one. And I'm just putting these under my lamp for 30 seconds each. And you don't even probably need that. You could probably do it for 15 seconds and you would be just fine. I've got extras of these because I want to make a bunch of them when the, when the video is over. I have a couple of these that I did in just little uh, long straight pieces and I've got this one that I love and that's the one that I used in that piece that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So beautiful. And let's get some pretty sparkle on some of our birdies. I'm 
just going over the writing there just a little bit just to have something at the top okay and then I think I'm just gonna with these I'm gonna do them all three at the same time and you can see this one's a little elongated that's okay I, I don't mind that I stretched it out a little bit that's all right it still looks beautiful the bird still looks fine you know it doesn't look weird or anything so it's just a little different shape than the original but I was using it for a different purpose when I did my little uh, tall tin that my friend Deanna purchased um, here's this one all done um, I wanted to put these on the sides of the tin and I really really liked oh huh I'm putting that in my lamp without sparkling them. Goodness gracious. Um, but anyway, I put these on that tin and they, oh, they were so pretty. I'm going to show you guys the back sides of these. Some of them you may see that it's gone through. Some of them you may not. It just depends. I, I, I just never know when they're going to, when the resin's going to seep through. I do know that the longer it takes me to do something, the more it seeps through. Like, see, most of these are probably going to have it. You, it's almost always there. See? So you do get that on the back side. The only way I think I wouldn't get it is if I barely, now see this one sept through quite a bit. But that's okay, you know, if, if you're, depending on, you know, are you using it for a project? Are you using it as a tag? I mean, maybe you don't want to use these as a tag, you know, maybe you just want to use these in projects or what have you because these are all it shows through on all of them so I'm not quite sure how you would not not get that to happen I do I do know that I've had some that I didn't get that with um, there's this one cute 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 isn't that beautiful and then here's my two little tall birds. And we've got these two. Beautiful. Are they gorgeous? You guys, it's like little stars all around the images. I just love this so much. So I'm, I'm making a whole bunch of these because I want to be able to use them as um, in my giveaways. And I'll usually put a few in um, a package. So I got to make a lot of them. And they don't last me very long. They go pretty quick. I got to make some more of these though because I only have one more of these and I absolutely love that image so much these beautiful right and there's the regular little bird but I just love these you guys you have to make some um, I, I didn't do any of these but you guys get the gist um, maybe I'll do a couple of them here just so you can see because these are a little bit different now, I could do this, just get these flowers and very quickly put some glass glitter on. Let's see, let's see what happens as far as it going through the card. I bet we're going to barely get any uh, seepage on that one because I did it super fast 
and I didn't give it a chance to really seep through before I put it under the lamp. So that's probably really what you, you got to do if you don't want to have the colors coming through. And then I can go back and I can do other parts of it, you know, just super quick. Get this on there. This one wasn't quite as quick as the other one. So I may still get the seepage on this one. So, this was the other one. See that? I did that super fast, so I don't have the seepage. And all I did was, you know, just a couple of little bits. So now I'll go back here, and I'll get the other spots that I, I didn't get the first time. And... We will glitter it up. And lamp her up. <laughs> and then here's the other one we did. And let's see if that one went through. Um, just a little bit, not as bad, not too bad, but it did go through a little bit. Like I said, I took a little bit longer with that one, and this one, I've probably made it seep through now a little bit, you can see now, because I, I spent more time doing those other parts, so yeah. So it just kind of depends, you guys, on, on how long you let that resin sit there before you, so right here, we'll do this, let's go ahead and light up the part that we just did. See, this one's not too bad. And see, we don't have any seepage, so let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit more. quickly get that under that lamp let's see if we did it that time but look at I've got glass glitter all over my tabletop here but that's okay I've got it on top of my my silicone mat and I'll just um, you know fold it and hold it over my my jar and um, There we go, so there's that one. Aren't these beautiful? I love these tags so much. And that one's not too bad. It's seeping through a little bit, but not too bad. It, you could use that as a tag. So that's it, you guys. That's how I do my sparkling tags. And make sure you get over to my Etsy shop, have a look over there and Buy yourself some goodies and maybe you'll get one of these, uh, a few of these tags in your um, package as a thank you. It depends on how quickly that happens because these go super fast. I go through them really, really fast. So I've got, you know, a good little stack more to do um, and actually these here but um, but they go super fast. I, they don't stick around very long. And then I like to keep a few for myself, of course, for projects that I'm working on. So look at this. Oh, I wanted to do this. Darn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these two right here because I wanted to see what the horse was gonna look like. And all I'm gonna do is The flowers and I definitely want to try and not get the seepage on this one because I'm going to use this as a tag because this is for a gift that I'm doing for someone 
Um, she wants a, a tin with a horse um, for her granddaughter. Her granddaughter loves horses, so I'm going to do a tin and a domino for her granddaughter. And so I want that one as a tag, and I'm hoping it didn't go through. If it did, I'll make another one. I have more of those. And these, I'm just going to be spec speckling it all over because it's got these little teeny little flower type things and pearly type things all over it. Okay, look at the horse. And that's all I did was just the flowers around the neck. Isn't that beautiful? And we've got no, oh, maybe just a tiny bit of seeping. I'm going to put it back under the lamp and see if it makes a difference in not letting it come through anymore. Maybe if I do it on the back side too. Okay, you guys, so that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and stopping in, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I love making these tags. It's so therapeutic, and they're so quick and easy to do. I know you guys can do them yourselves. Get on Etsy, shop at some digital image shops where you can find some of the prettiest images. That's going to be your best bet. I do not sell my images, um, so again, that's not, uh, you know, I'm, I can't sell them to you. Um, I just give them away, and that's it. Um, as gifts and things like that, but um, get out there and get some of your own and, and see what you can do. I'm sure most of you probably have some um, tags or things that you know that you could play with and and do some stuff with otherwise get on Pinterest type in free printable images and you will find a ton of free printables that are absolutely gorgeous you guys or you can use AI now you can make your own you could make things that are just as beautiful as all of these yourself you guys and then it's yours and nobody can say you stole it or you did this or you did that um, because you made them yourself and I think a lot of these are possibly AI um, pieces but look at that how stunning are those oh I'm so excited I'm so excited you guys I hope you loved this video because I sure did love making it <laughs> so that's it that's all the, the images we did in probably 30 minutes time. And wow, look at the gorgeousness that is on this table. I mean, seriously, you guys, it doesn't get any better than that. So um, thanks a lot, you guys, again. Thank you for watching. Stop by. I will be doing a video on how I made this. I'll be making another one using one of these images. Um, make a comment down below. Let me know which one you think you'd like to see uh, done in one of these. Um, so maybe um, maybe I'll do a little poll and see what you guys think, what you guys would like to see in one of those. If not, I know I put this at the end of the video. Maybe I'll put a spot at the beginning of the video so that I can talk to you guys about thumbs ups and comments and all that good stuff. So anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. Um, stay happy. Stay well. Be safe. Love your family. Hug them. Squeeze them often. Tell them you love them every day if you can. You're all absolutely amazing people. Stay amazing. Know that you're amazing. Don't let anybody tell you different because you are. Um, God bless each and every one of you, and thanks again for being here. Stay tuned for pictures on the back end. Love y'all. Bye-bye.